Good morning, my Torians. Happy Earth Sign Day, you cutie pies. Let's do some readings here. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the main deck. I have Golden Art Novo Tarot for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Six of Pentacles and a Two of Cups Reverse. You know what this almost feels like? It could be a breakup, but it could be for some of you. And, and, and if you're new to the channel, this is like pre-energy. It's not necessarily the main reading, although it could be but it's just the energy i'm tapping into as i'm shuffling and meditating on your energy here so two of cups reverse can be a dispute it could be a lack of communication it could be ignoring somebody because there you are six of pentacles and you gave something and expecting to give something back to get something back in return and so if this was a two of cups upright i would say hey they gave it back to you in return but maybe they didn't. So it's like lending your love, your energy out, hoping to get something of theirs back. Um, maybe it could be even literally about money. So you have a five of cups back here and a temperance reverse. And what this kind of feels like, the temperance reverse and a five of cups, maybe you bit your tongue, maybe you were waiting to see what they were gonna do. And the more you waited, I'm getting waiting energy for some reason. The more you waited for them, to do the very least it was it put you more in a temp temperance reverse is overthinking over analyzing worrying and a five of cups it's just i i don't think you're expecting or demanding um or requiring an extreme effort here you just want the bare minimum from somebody and they can't even seem to do that so we have a five of pentacles and then the hangman reverse all right let's see what's going on here taurus sun moon rising venus if you are a taurus know a taurus feel like being a taurus taurians i'm glad you're here you can be a taurus and this resonates you could be dealing with a taurus it could resonate as the main story and taurus could be the cross watcher this reading could be about a taurus or for a taurus take it as it resonates all right taurus okay what fell out of my lap the tower reverse yes the tower reverse and the seven of cups reverse, both Scorpio energy. I, I, I get that. I saw the king of cups reverse or it, no, it was a king of swords reverse. Um, I get somebody might be difficult to deal with or they're making something very difficult. And the tower reverse can be avoiding, avoiding having this conversation. I just, I feel like avoiding the truth, avoiding the, I feel like somebody's avoiding and evading the truth. But why? Why, Taurus, why? All right, general energy for the Taurians. General, what are they hiding? What is it? Because the King of Swords reverse. I'm getting some, they're hiding something here. Okay, general energy for the Taurians. Collect the messages. Collect the messages for the Taurians. All right, this flipped. Four of Wands, Aries energy. And guess what, Taurus? We are in Aries season. Four of Wands is the twin flame, 11 11, happiness, happily ever after. What's influencing the Four of Wands? What's influencing the Four of Wands? The Eight of Pentacles. Working on this foundation. I can't, what, a marriage. Working on this marriage. Working on a relationship, a connection. What's the reason for the reading? Oh my gosh, I really, I'm getting strongly and I don't want to say it, but I'm getting strongly. Maybe you're finding out somebody's still working on their marriage or a, an older connection. What's the reason for the reading? There's the Six of Pentacles, Five of Swords Reverse. Five of Swords Reverse can be an apology. Because I feel like somebody's getting caught in a lie here. Six of Pentacles in the moon at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what's in the past? What's in the past? I feel this is what they were hiding. What's in the past? What's in the past, Taurus? What's in the past? The Queen of Cups. Happiness. Trusting to give your cup to somebody. Loving, it's, it's, I get pure love here and trust to be vulnerable with someone. Queen of Cups signals a Two of Cups upright, a newer connection. We're on the same page. This is feeling really good. Okay, what is on Taurus's mind? What is on the Taurian's mind? 
What is on the Taurian's mind? What is it? The Nine of Pentacles. So we have Virgo, Eight and Nine of Pentacles on the way to the Ten. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? And Nine of Pentacles is the minor iconic card of the Empress, but it can be a very single energy. Getting, there you are, Taurus, on your mind, working on yourselves, working on where you, okay, what is in their future here? And the Death card. Two of Wands reverse in the Ace of Cups. Now, remember when we saw that Seven, gosh, it would help if I move this down more. So remember when I saw that Seven of Cups reverse? Seven of Cups reverse, the Scorpio card can signal an Ace of Cups is being had. Somebody's ready to focus on one cup, not seven. And that's how I'm feeling. Look at this, Two of Wands reverse is making a decision, right? What are they making a decision on? Focusing on only one cup. I get it, now that all the cards are out here, this five of pentacles and two of cups reverse and a three of wands reverse maybe you've maybe you've had an argument or a breakup with someone recently and you have your back to them and you put them out you literally put them out in the snow out in the cold here and having your back to them there's the five of pentacles again and if you add a five plus five you got a ten of pentacles and that's a, a real commitment here and you were so close working on something with someone but maybe what you found out, because I get they were hiding something, is they were trying to fully get out of something else, or they weren't sure if they were ready to fully commit. Either way, they could have, there's just this underlying sneaky energy, and I think you knew it, you felt it, you try to communicate. I feel like they were hiding, they were being evasive. You could have put your back to someone or had some type of, I feel like you were avoiding this though. You were avoiding having to have this conversation, hoping they were gonna do the right thing. All you wanted was a three, look at this. You have a three of pentacles and a five of pentacles equal an eight of pentacles. Trying to buy a house together, trying to move in together, trying to have this commitment together. So what is the underlying energy here? Because these are all fantastic cards. Why do I feel somebody else might be a bit of a four of pentacles? And this can be a very stubborn, very self, still a bit self-focused, worried about losing something. So he holds on to his, his investment over here. And if you have a four of pentacles and a three of pentacles, you have a seven. Somebody's overthinking, wondering. It's just everything leads to a 10 between two energies, but one person has definitely been putting more effort in than the other. If Taurus, I'm, I feel like this is you. Of course, if you are watching this as a cross watcher, dealing with the Taurus, this possibly could be the cross watcher in the situation. That's how these energies work. But what I feel like is a Taurus has been doing their part. You have an Eight of Pentacles working towards a Four of Wands. Queen of Cups is, I'm really invested in this. I wanna see this get to the ultimate Ten of Cups. I wanna see this get to ultimate Ten of Pentacles. So the reason for the reading with a Five of Swords reverse and a Death card, a Death card can be a signaling a new beginning to be had. I feel like somebody honestly is ready to let go of their childish ways or they wanna let go of whatever kind of kept them from fully giving themselves to you and investing in you. So there is clarity here, and which is also that seven of cups reverse. So we have a knight of wands and a seven of wands reverse and a king of wands reverse. Yeah, I, I almost guess somebody had a hard time giving up some type of bachelor or bachelorette energy. I'm not saying they had someone necessarily, but the potential of someone. And you're like, whoa, wait a second, I'm a king. What's better than me? If you feel like you can do better than me, there's the door. And that's the, that's the conversation I feel like was had here with the Two of Cups reverse for who I'm reading for. All right, let's, uh, let's clarify this. So we have a Four of Wands influenced by an Eight of Pentacles. Oh, my hair is all up in these guards. Sorry. I forgot my hair tie. Okay. What is the Four of Wands influenced by the Eight of Pentacles? Aries and Virgo. Patient. And I feel like, Taurus, I don't feel like you were asking for anything extreme. You just wanted honesty. If you were afraid of this, let me know before I sit there and put money into a, a, a new lease or getting a house or trying to see, you know, build your future around somebody who's 
afraid to be in it, to commit to it. Four of Wands influenced by the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Cups reverse. Look at that. Nine of Cups reverse and a Queen of Cups. It's very hard to get to a Ten of Cups when somebody's holding back not, the majority here. But the Moon and the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is where they are now in the Moon. Um, I feel like they're in this darkness. They're in the cold. And what they're realizing, there's only one cup they want. That Knight of Cups to the Queen of Cups. They're finally becoming the King of Cups. They're finally allowing themselves and trusting that it's not about always trying to get better. It's about it's about appreciating the best you've ever had right now in your life. That's what this person needs to understand. It's not a yeah, it's not about trying to top what they have because maybe they come from a place of scarcity. That's a five of pentacles and we've seen it twice. It's not about always trying to get more. It's always the next step. It's about appreciating what you have right now. That's what life is. And people forget about forget that. Death reverse, yeah. That is the very, I don't know, I'm still on the fence. And But a, no, I don't even think they communicate. I feel like they, they ghost you or they pull back or they're being evasive. They don't want this conversation. But the good thing is we have a death in the near future. Okay, tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Aquarian energy. Five of Swords reverse. Sun reverse. Unsure. Un... I don't think they were unhappy with you, but I just feel like they were unsure about this. But reason for the reading is current energy. So five of swords reverse is an apology. Somebody wants to heal a broken foundation that they broke because they don't wanna, they're realizing being with you is a lot more enjoyable than being without you. Sun reverse is very unhappy. Queen of cups in the past. Queen of Cups in the past. It's funny when I'm clarifying this other energy, I get King Reverse in their majors and their other cards. Um, and when I clarify you, I'm getting the Queen Upright, the King Upright. So, okay. Queen of Cups in the past. Cancer Energy. Why the Queen of Cups in the past? And the King of Wands. Look at that. Honestly, Taurus, I feel like you were really good for this person. And they know you were you made them a better person so why did that feel so scary to them tell me about the king of wands and the queen of cups and the emperor look at that all four kings going on right here and you are an empress i really feel like they got afraid of what this it meant to them maybe because they were more afraid of losing the best thing they ever had. So they went ahead and sabotaged it first. Okay. Why the Nine of Pentacles Virgo energy on Taurus's mind? Patient, stable on your mind. Your Nine of Pentacles is not chasing. You're not trying to get something that's trying to get away from you. Why the Nine of Pentacles? And then not chase not yeah knight of wands reverse if this person wants to be chased they better i don't know they better get a dog or something because it's not taurus taurus isn't chasing anyone you're not playing these games why the knight of wands reverse and knight of wands reverse is um i to me it's always a car that's ready to go but it's not going it's like you put yourself in neutral you're trying to be neutral about this you're trying to be adult about this all right, why the Knight of Wands reverse Sagittarius? Yeah, Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, I just, I don't get your speaking to them. I feel like you pulled everything back from this energy. Why the death in the near future? The death in the near future, Scorpio energy. So we have a Knight of Cups here, Queen of Cups here, and a King of Cups here. Why the death in the near future? Why the death in the near future? I pulled two cards. I could not get this card. This card wanted to be seen, I guess. So you got the King of Swords reverse. This is somebody who's having a hard time changing their ways, their mind, but it's also somebody who could be very secretive. What they're having a hard time changing is also what they're secretive about. 
And I think this kind of came up a bit in yesterday's reading and one of the readings, but I feel like possibly what they're ashamed of, maybe they're afraid, uh, Taurus, of you finding that out and you not liking them because that's the part they don't like about themselves. King of Swords Reverse, what's behind it? Ace of Swords Reverse, that this king really doesn't have as much going on as they led you to believe. That, for instance, if you got into a connection and you bonded over past experiences and you were saying that you were with a narcissist or you were taken for granted and all these things happened to you, they're like, yeah, I had the same problem. I had the same thing going on. One, they could be hiding that that same thing going, that in the past could still be going on, but the, what they might be holding back is they were that in their relationship. What, this is where I feel like your king energy is forcing somebody to see the truth about themselves and that they don't like to see. They're used to looking out windows and what you're holding up to is a mirror in front of them and they didn't like what they see. And so over here, even though emotionally they liked how they felt with you, you reflected something back to them about themselves they don't like about themselves. So they pull themselves back wondering, yeah, that's, what, but the death card here is I feel like a transformation and a change is happening. Happening. We got a nine of pentacles and a three of cups. A bit complicated today, Taurus, and I hope I didn't lose um, three quarters of you here, but I really feel like you, not that you tried, but I feel like what's happening is somebody wants to be a better person for you because they don't like who they are. It's like they don't like what was reflected back to them and they can't go back to their old ways because that doesn't make them happy either. If this was philandering or cheating or drinking or drugging or whatever it is, whatever it is, it, it, that doesn't fit for them either. So they're caught in this in between two of wands here, in between of, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. I'm holding the world. I was holding the best thing in my hand and I let it go. So what, what has to happen now? What decision has to happen now? Aries card, by the way, in Aries season is instead of looking out into the future, you need to start looking what is already in your hand. Two of Wands, look at the world right below that. Isn't that interesting? And instead of thinking about it, it's time to start doing something about it. Hangman Reverse. And Knight of Swords Reverse is about cutting out the negative, the chaos in one's life, and be the king you were always meant to be. Whoever this is for, I feel like I'm now talking to the cross watcher or to that other energy, because this wants to come about. And this does feel a bit twin flamey to me because or in a soulmate connection, because it's not all about holding hands and playing on rainbows. It's about triggering the best version of ourselves to come out and sometimes through painful ways. And so I feel like this, this king is emerging from this person. They saw who you were and your, and your integrity and they didn't like themselves as the Knight of Wands reverse. They didn't like themselves as King's reverse because they know they are better than what they gave you. And they're ready to be that king now. I don't know what's below it, but the Ace of Wands was showing itself. What's below it? The cards are sticking in the Queen of Wands reverse. Queen of Wands reverses someone you can't count on because of they have too much fear to be who they truly are. So they're pretending to be other people. They're having a, somebody's having a big spiritual awakening. That's what I feel. Got a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Cups, or not Queen, High Priestess and Queen of Cups, both Cancer. I feel like this person's ready to be, and they're trying to be the better version of themselves for you. Long story to get to the long of it. All right, Taurus, have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.